sports thing. Charos don't, don't play rugby, eh? One sport. You know what? A charo is a discerning hoe. Charo will never put his head up another hoe's ass. <laughs> mm, unless it's for a promotion. <laughs> then he put it right in. <laughs> huh? You may even see what the hoe had for supper last night. Yeah. But things are tough. Even the Vitos too can't get along so easy anymore. Yeah, but fuck them. <laughs> they had it soft for too long. And when they were in charge, how oh, they fucked our lives up. Hey. I remember that one Vito used to graph as a lani in this very same office. Eh? Manier de Vet. We knew the bastard was a Vito. <laughs> but he still come and name himself de Vet. Eh? And now he used to come and throw us up here. Yeah. Bluff the charros. You know what? All he wanted at the end of the day was for us to bring chow for him. Hey, come and throw us up, you know. Hey, you know, you Indians. You is very good cooks, eh? <laughs> what fucking very good cooks? You is fucking very bad grammar. <laughs> yeah, you know, you make these very nice curries. And you make this uh, stuff called this briyani. <laughs> and you know those triangular cakes you make? <laughs> I can, what fucking triangular cakes is this? <laughs> Only cake I can see is this hoe. <laughs> then I realized what this is talking about the samosa man. <laughs> so me, I reckon, no, Munir the vet, that's a samosa. Hey, I got shocked myself how my accent changed like that. <laughs> uh, hey, Sir Musa. Hey, you know, but why do they call it Sir Musa? I said, no, because that's a very respectable cake. <laughs> He's like, well, why Sir Musa? I can uh, Musa was the first one that invented this cake. <laughs> Sir Musa. <laughs> I could tune this on any shit except. Uh, I call him a mother and I make him feel nice about it. <laughs> the same way I call this thing a bursary. Uh, but anyway, I reckon, yeah, it tastes very nice. No, I slipped out of my mouth. Do you want some? He reckon, yeah, greedy bastard.